friends, the Bible says that no murderer has eternal life and that murderers will burn in the lake of fire. For over 50 years, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has officially and very publicly supported the violent killing of innocent children by abortion. And because of this falsehood, many, many will burn in hell. It is a documented fact that many women were counseled by Adventist teachers and leaders to have abortions. These women will be lost forever. Many church leaders have openly defended this. The Bible also says that liars will burn in the lake of fire. They also will be lost. When the new Jerusalem descends from heaven upon the earth and the saved and redeemed enter into the holy city, we will see the entire world covered in raging waves of fire engulf the wicked and all of these people who believed and taught and practiced a lie, these lies will endure indescribable, it will be indescribable pain and agony. There will be horrific weeping and gnashing of teeth because of the Adventist Church's false teaching. Many people will be plunged beneath the hot lava and worse, to whom much is given, much is required. Because Seventh-day Adventists make the highest claims to a knowledge of truth and because they claim to be ambassadors who represent the kingdom of God, their punishment will be worse than the wicked. They will burn in the fires of hell longer than others. Hell, this is a very important point, Hell is an event with a beginning, duration, and ending, and there will be many people who will burn in hell because they listened to the Adventist falsehoods on abortion. The leaders of Israel are the head, and the lying prophets are the tail, for the leaders of the people have misled them. They have led them where? Down the path of destruction. Adventist leaders literally and very publicly honor notorious abortionists as ambassadors and as examples forever to our students. We are literally leading people straight to hell. Many people within the church, they know about this problem, but don't want to say anything because they are afraid of becoming unpopular. Well, guess what? The Bible also says that the cowardly will burn in hell. People today live their lives as if there will never be any accountability, but this is God's holy infallible word, and there will be a day of strict accountability, and all of these people will be condemned and thrown into the fires of hell. Go read 2 Samuel chapter 12. God said to David, you are the man. God condemned David as a murderer because in his position of authority. He authorized the killing of the innocent. There are many people in the Adventist church, especially in positions of authority, who act all pious and godly, but who have used their positions to authorize the killing of little innocent children. There are many, quote, evangelists and pastors who try to justify and frame the killing of children as a religious freedom. They try to excuse this evil and teach a lie that the government does not have the right or authority or duty to legislate the Sixth Commandment. As we have documented repeatedly in other videos, the Adventist Church has many people who publicly denounce and condemn other Christians as agents of Satan. And why? Because they stand up for the Sixth Commandment. This is bearing false witness, and they also will be lost. Such people could never exist in a sinless heaven with the angels of God. If you believe if you believe that you can live in the presence of God forever after you distorted and abused his word and taught such a horrible evil lie, you are sadly mistaken. Many people today who say, happy Sabbath, praise the Lord, Jesus is coming soon, they will burn in the lake of fire. And this is only the direct involvement Adventists have leagued with Satan to cast this magical spell upon the world that murdering little boys and girls is a religious freedom. And when that great day happens, when the wicked are raised to their destruction, all are going to see the entire effect of the Adventist influence on this matter. And the lost will denounce these liars within our church as the most wicked people who have ever lived upon this earth. 
because they made the highest claims of truth, claimed to be ambassadors, ambassadors for the kingdom of God, and they did the work of the enemy. David only killed Uriah, but Adventists, our church has publicly supported and defended the killing of hundreds of millions, no, uh, by now over a billion innocent, helpless little children. The pain and the horror and the punishment that awaits is indescribable. Never, never, ever, 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 never make the mistake of judging your situation by what you or other people think. Always, always look to the inspired text of Scripture as the source of authoritative, infallible truth. When we compare abortion in the Adventist church to the text, this is terribly frightening. Many people have already been lost and many more will be lost and will burn in hell because of this. Every day, every day that the Seventh-day Adventist Church refuses to repent and refuses to tell the truth, every day that the Adventist Church supports this abomination, we are crucifying Christ afresh each day and leading people to hell and that is the truth. He is crucified and put to an open shame today and tomorrow we will crucify him again. Thanks for watching.